What is up guys, Johnny here back with a brand new gold arena guide for you. I had to make a new gold arena guide because the spawn locations changed recently with the latest update. In today's video, we'll look at the start of each round, where you should be at the start of the rounds, to kill the enemies fast and to prevent them from spreading. Before you play Gold Arena, you should be max power, max level, you should have good gear and you should be familiar with Arena. So if you don't know Silver Arena, make sure you watch my guide. I will put the link in the description. Is the Silver Arena spawns. You have to learn it. You have to be uh, good in Silver Arena before you go Gold Arena because it's no point. If you don't know how to play Arena, you should not be in Gold Arena to start with. Practice in Silver and then when you think Silver Arena is very easy, if you clear Silver Arena under 15 minutes all the time and you don't die, well now it's time to go play Gold. So my recommendation for the gear, go all crit on all pieces of gear and look for melee resistance. You can find melee resistance on the gloves and you can find melee resistance on the pants. So it's very good against blinkers. For secondary weapon, you should look for high damage machine guns or any machine gun that you like. I think it's the best option for gold. For the skill tree, I recommend 1208 is my latest gold arena build. With 8 survival, you get access to flat jacket, 25% explosion resistance really really good 12 in agility has always been a very good choice for silver arena because the 20 percent extra damage to the back is going to be good in gold arena again all right so let's jump straight into the gold arena for a full run i'm going to tell you where i start at each round and where my partners start the rounds okay so it's very very similar to silver arena the only difference now after the spawn uh, reshuffling is someone starts in the corner on round one through three four right so look at my two partners they go in the silver arena spawn one at the dreads the common dreads and one at the regular silver spawn if you don't know what i'm talking about you don't know how to play silver arena watch my guide again because i'm not gonna explain everything but you see the two markers on the map they had the silver arena spawn and i'm in the corner right so start of the round i just clear everything in the corner super fast you're gonna get um the ribbons for exterminator all the time uh, most of the time and then you're gonna move uh, to the other location. But it's pretty quick at the start. There's not that many enemies, so maybe what, 15, 20? Then you go to that spot, and my buddy Super Kush on the other side of that is gonna come with me when he's done with the, the trash, all right? So it's very similar to Silver Arena. The round one is almost the same, except you put someone in the corner at the start to clear the first wave. But then when the first wave is done, you go back to regular Silver Arena spawns, and the difference between silver and gold is you need to kill a number of enemies and then you spawn the boss. So I try to be close to that spot. So when the boss spawn, I can jump right there and almost uh, spawn kill the first uh, fire spitter that spawned there, the fire spitter you call. Uh, and then you, of course, you try to stay alive. Sometimes I clear much faster than that. And then you go near the middle uh, and see what's left. But I think there's three orange uh, elites. My partners killed the other two. And once the elites are done, you have to kill the remaining enemies to end the round. So it's a bunch of commons and the void callers. You have to clear everything. You see a lot of ammo on the ground. It's because they killed enemies there. You see it's the silver arena spawn. There was a lot of stuff there. All right, so round two. I recommend a uh, med kit or survival kit guys and I kept it for round two and I kept the AM bomb for round two. Round two is the toughest round of all, especially at the start. We send two guys here and my third uh, guy is at the silver arena spawn again. He said he, he stays all four rounds, uh, one, two, three, four at the same spawn. It's the silver arena platform with the elites. He goes there for every round except round five. Now it's me and Kush in the corner. You need two guys. I will drop my survival kit there because I'm gonna take a lot of damage and I will throw AM bomb. As soon as you see the orange markers, it's gonna be a bunch of these guys, the famous decimator charges. They are so dangerous. They explode on you and they deal a lot of damage. So try to get damage in the back. You have your back to the wall and try to stay on your survival kit. So I put it in this area. It's gonna keep me alive. I can take much more damage because of that. And then uh, put them in a sandwich with your partner. So uh, there's always someone shooting in the back, right? So move around, try to stay alive. There's gonna be a lot of decimator chargers there. Uh, I cannot tell you exactly how many. You can watch the replay if you want. Probably something like 10. And then uh, it's gonna stop spawning in the corner and you're gonna go back to that area that you see there. More decimators chargers. Uh, will spawn there so you move and you keep killing there there's gonna be 
a lot of stuff chargers decimators and decimator grunts or something kill stuff bosses spawn again it's gonna be a bunch of orange guys red hammers and stuff uh the difference now after the update is they used to spawn all in the middle but now they spawn at separate places so you have to chase them and focus on the red guys and then when they're all gone you're gonna have a message and then you kill the trash one more thing you guys gotta know is uh, my buddy Japara, Japara, I don't know how to pronounce, sorry bro, but he spends all four rounds at the same spawn. He says don't kill the crushers, okay? The guys with the shield, don't kill these guys, because if you kill the crushers, you have more stuff at the end on the, the boss fight. You have more orange guys. Uh, it was the same thing before the update, guys. They always say try not to kill the chargers on round two, three, four, I think. Um, but I only have one point of view. I don't think you guys need that. What you need is learn the spawns patterns, like learn where to start the rounds and then play and play a lot and play with the same guys and play at the same spot. And then you're going to get better. You're going to know everything exactly when they spawn and uh, how you should be moving. All right. So that's the end of round two. Uh, round two. Sorry, guys. We kill the orange guys and then uh, look for ammo. So I like to do a round for ammo. You see the bells is for the Christmas event. Probably later when you watch this video, uh, you're gonna wonder what that is. It's the old Christmas event. Uh, you collect bells, you buy stuff at payroll. So do a round, get the ammo, go back to, I go back to the corner, but the other two guys go back to the silver arena spawn again for round three and round four. So round three, I go again on the corner, back to the wall. That's what I do for round one, two, three, four. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, very common weak enemies there. It's gonna spawn like uh, six or something and some chargers start spawning uh, in front of me and they come to me. So I'll stay here for a little bit, uh, kill them as they spawn. You see the back damage, how important it is. Uh, you get a lot of crit with that. So if you have high crit numbers on your gear and the 12 points in agility, you're gonna be able to deal a lot of damage. So one more thing with the survival kit is it keeps you alive. And I want to say a word about damage bug, but first of all, you see, once I'm done killing like six, seven, eight uh, trash enemies, decimators, chargers spawn in the corner near the door. So you try to get the back shots, then there will be a hellstorm. I will throw an AM bomb very often here because there's a lot of blinkers behind the door. So it gets a lot of uh, stuff done. It does damage on the hellstorm. It, uh, it will pick up a lot of blinkers at the same time. The whole point is try to kill the trash fast because it's the number of enemies you need to kill to spawn the bosses. So the more trash mobs you can kill fast, it's going to make the rounds much uh, quicker. But about the damage bug, I know about survival kit before you post in the comments. Uh, I use it to stay alive on round two and that's it. I know you can get extra damage. There's a bug and the bug's been there for a long, long time. In 0.5, we were using it in hive mine. Uh, controversy, use it or don't use it. I use it for the purpose of staying alive. If I get damage bug, well, that's cool. It's going to kill the stuff very fast. As you can see there, I got extra damage for sure. You don't see the numbers, but it's there. So it makes your job so much easier if you have the damage bug. I'm not bragging about records. I'm not bragging about clear times. I'm trying to show you guys how to play arena and where to position yourself to clear fast. If they fix the bug, I would still use the med kit for round two, okay? Definitely, it's the purpose of the med kit is survivability, all right? So if they fix the bug, I would still use it. And after round two, I would change on the fly and replace med kit for supercharger, okay? But I say use the med kit, bug or no bug, uh, it's gonna make a difference. But the, the thing is, my role where I'm in the corner, I'm alone almost every round. So if I die, they have to leave their spot to come pick me up. And that's not good because they have something to do over there at the silver spawn. They cannot leave and go all the way across the map to revive me. And then they're not doing their job and we waste, we both waste time because I'm not killing stuff and they're not killing stuff. So if you die all the time, this is no good. You should not play in the corner. Uh, I tried to not die on round one, two, one, three, four. But on the other side, if one of them die, they can pick up each other, they can revive each other, right? So round four, a bit different. I'm still, still in the corner, but the decimator spawn, right? 
uh, it's called the Decimator Spawn in Silver Arena. There's gonna be a lot of trash here. Uh, blinkers and Decimator uh, Grunts. There's a Twin Blade that spawned uh, in the corner and he's gonna respawn and respawn and respawn if you kill him. Uh, you don't have to kill him. You can focus on the trash and just run around the, the Twin Blade and ignore it if you want. Uh, don't go out of your way to kill this guy because it's faster if you kill the trash first. So I run around like in Call of Duty Zombies, you, you know, making the trains. You run around them and they will follow you as a group and then you turn and you shoot the pack and then you run around and you shoot the pack. Just a trick. If you played Call of Duty Zombies, you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? So that's what I try to do uh, to maximize my uh, ammo because when you shoot at a pack, the bullets will hit something. As soon as you hear, I give you a monster, go back in the middle. Round four is Blade Dancer. So definitely the guys with the damage will shoot Blade Dancer in the back. Someone will draw aggro and uh, kite him around. And as you can see, lots of damage, of course, but it shouldn't be like that. Uh, if, if it happens, it happens. Um, and if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I hope they fix the bug for sure. Uh, I said it many times. It's not cool to have bugs, even good bugs, because not everyone know about it. But anyways. Round four, kill the blade dancer, kill the trash, pick up the ammo, and you see again, silver arena spawn, it's where the action was for the other two guys, there's a lot of stuff there on the ground, that means uh, the, the, the blinker spawn also, you see here, so same as silver arena, round one, two, three, four, uh, except there's one guy in the corner for gold arena, and round two, another guy in the corner, now it's round five, again, Everything spawn near the middle. I like to uh, spawn kill one of the elites in the back Then I throw a m bomb and pick up the rest of the elites the orange elites uh, I don't know if there's another name for that. But anyways kill the stuff Then uh, Regis will spawn It's gonna <laughs> kick you off the middle He's gonna spawn and then once again guys if you don't know how to play arena uh, You have stuff to learn how to kill Regis one in the front, two in the back. Two guys at the window, one guy draw aggro. You shoot the back and then uh, kill the trash and then shoot Regis. When you've done enough damage on Regis, there will be two blade dancers. I mean, there's nothing to say here, I guess, except kill the blade dancers. You know how to do it. One guy will draw aggro around the, around the map and the other guys will follow and shoot the back. There's no secret, okay? It's how it works. And once again, guys, I'm going to tell you, it's not a place for beginners. You need max power, max level, great gear, and you need to be able to survive. So if you if you die all the time, you have to rethink uh, about the skill tree. I know a lot of guys will not agree on what's the best skill tree, but I, I say it. Okay, 8 survival is going to make a difference, and I'm not using buffs. 25% explosion resistance, guys. It's a lot of resistance, and the explosions, they can hurt you. If you don't wear explosion resistance, I got 10% on my boots also. So I got 35% explosion resistance. That's how I stay alive. And I can almost ignore the void callers. They don't kill me that much, all right? Yes, I die sometimes. This run, I think I didn't die. But yeah, I do die. If you watch the streams, we have great runs. But it's about survivability and dealing damage. Again, 12, 19, but it's because of the damage bug. 15 minutes 18 minutes it's good runs and gold if you do under 20 you're doing good if you do 45 minutes and you're dead all the time it is not efficient go back to silver practice farm gear try to get stronger and then go back to gold that will be it for today's video watch it three three four five times uh leave me a comment below hope it helped you guys i will be back soon until then watch my other videos don't forget to subscribe to the channel more shadow gun legends news gameplay and guides I'll be back soon.